everyone, welcome back. It is so great to see you. I am so excited for us to continue to explore insects this week. But today we're gonna focus on one insect in particular. I wonder if you'll know what it is. It's a red little insect with black spots on its back. Do you know what it is? I think you might. It's a ladybug. So we're gonna look at ladybugs today. Come and join us. Hi, I'm Robbie. Hi, I'm Susie. Hi, I'm Miss Carly, the teacher. It's time for Home Time with Robbie and Susie. I am really excited that you have come to learn about ladybugs with us today. Have you ever seen a ladybug? I know I have. They're very, very tiny. Maybe you can go and explore in your garden and see if you can find a ladybug of your own. Well, as we're going to learn about ladybugs today, we are going to be learning about their bodies and about what colours they come in because you think that they're only just red and black. but they also come in lots of different colors. As you can see here, there's an orange one, and there's a yellow, and there's red and black. And did you see this one here? This one has no spots, because lady beetles are all different, and some don't have any spots at all. Well, did you know that the lady beetle, when it is first born, it starts as an egg? because it's a type of insect. So as you can see here, you can see that there's an egg and then it turns into a larva, which is a type of bug looking creature. And then it turns into a pupa, which it starts to change. And then out pops a ladybird. A ladybug is a type of beetle. It has six legs. How many legs do you have? Hmm, I have two legs, you have two legs, but lady beetles have six legs. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six legs. Did you know that lady beetles also fly? They have wings. How amazing is that? They're hidden underneath what's called their elytra, which is the hard shell coating that you usually see. And their wings, as you can see here, when they wanna fly, their elytra pops up and their wings come out. And then they fly to wherever they need to go. That's pretty amazing. As you can see here, lady beetles have all different types and numbers of spots because every lady beetle is different. This one here has lots of spots. This one has hmm, one, two, three, four spots. This one has maybe about eight spots. And this one has none. So every lady beetle is different, just like you and me. Lady beetles are all different colors. And as you can see, they're very, very bright. And that is to warn other predators that might want to eat them that danger. Red means danger, don't eat me. So how amazing is it that the color of their shells actually protect them from being eaten from other animals? Ladybugs are really, really good to have in your garden because they eat a bug called an aphid. And aphids actually destroy other plants in the garden. They suck all the moisture and the water out. But the ladybirds, they love to eat aphids. So if you ever see a ladybird in your garden, just know that they are actually looking after your plants. 
well as we learnt about the life cycle. And as you can see, they have wings and they have elytra and they have six legs. We are going to learn about the types of body parts that the ladybird has. As you can see here, there are lots of different parts to the ladybird. We have the elytra and then here underneath is the wing popping out. And then they have six legs and underneath here, when their wings pop out, they have the abdomen, which is like a stomach or a tummy. And then they have the head and they have their antenna and they have their eyes. Did you know that ladybirds, they smell with their feet? So their legs, they use their legs to walk along and they're smelling through their feet. How amazing is that? We have noses, but ladybirds noses are in their feet. Well, as you can see here, all the body parts, I actually made a lady beetle so we can learn the body parts together. So as you can see, it's all covered up. So which one, we can pull these away and see which part of the ladybird we can remember. Okay, we might pull maybe this part off. Do you remember what part of the body this was? <gasps> we can see here, this is the antenna. And then we have its eyes and its head. And then down here, we can see along the side, we can see one, two, three, four, five, six legs. Remember that ladybirds have six legs and they smell with their feet. Let's see what's underneath this one here. <gasps> oh, we have a red and black spotted lady beetle here. And remember we have this part which swings out and underneath is the abdomen or also like your tummy. But the elytra swings out and a wing is underneath. Let's see how many spots this one has. One, two, three, four spots. Okay, the last little bit. So remember we've done the legs, the antenna, the head, the elytra and the spots. Let's see what's underneath this one. <gasps> we have the other elytra or the other wing. Okay, and this one's gonna swing out. Do you remember what's underneath? Remember that the ladybirds can fly. So let's pull this one out and see if we can see its wing. <gasps> there it is swings out so when they want to fly they spread their elytra and they can fly off from flower to flower or to plant to plant other than that they can fly and crawl so can you remember the body parts again see if you can remember with me what was this part you got it it's the head and do you remember what these little parts are called that's right the antenna and then we have six can you remember what they were? Six legs, that's right. And we have the black spots all over their back. And this one's a tricky one. This one's the elytra, which is their shell. And then underneath the shell or the elytra, can you remember what that was called? They use it to fly. That's right, a wing. So they have wings to fly away. Did you have fun learning about the body parts of a ladybird? I did. I've really enjoyed learning about ladybirds today. Are you excited to learn some more? We have some fun activities and maybe even an exciting book to read. So come along and let's see what else we can learn about lady beetles. So, I have a song for you today and it's about ladybugs. And it's about one, two, three, four, five ladybugs. And it goes like this. Five little ladybugs climbing up the door. <gasps> One flew away and then there was four. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Four little ladybugs <gasps> sitting on a tree. Oh, One flew away and then there was three. One, two, three. Three little ladybugs <gasps> landed on a shoe. Oh, one flew away. 
and then there was two. Good job. One, two. Two little ladybugs <gasps> looking for some fun. Oh, one flew away and then there was one. One little ladybug sitting in the sun. Oh, he flew away and then there was none. <gasps> Did you like that song? I like that song. It's a fun song about our lady beetles. Do you know what? Lauren has a story today and I think it's got a ladybug in it too. Let's go see what Lauren's got for us. Thanks Stacey. Yes, I do have such a beautiful book about ladybirds. It's called You Who Ladybird by Mem Fox. Would you like to read it with me and see if you can see any lady beetles? All right. You Who Ladybird. Ladybird, can you see the ladybird? Ladybird loves to hide. Yoo-hoo, Ladybird, where are you? Can you see Ladybird on the page? Hmm. I can't see her. Let's turn the page. A float in the bath with duck and giraffe. Yoo-hoo, Ladybird, where are you? Let's see over the next page. Can you see Ladybird? Have a look closely. Ooh. There you are. Tucked in a box with rabbit and fox. Can we see the fox and the rabbit? Yoo-hoo, Ladybird, where are you? There you are. Can you see the Ladybird? Stuck on the stairs with a couple of bears. Yoo-hoo, Ladybird, where are you? Can you see Ladybird this time? I think I can see her. There you are. Outside the house with chicken and mouse. There she is. Yoo-hoo, Ladybird, where are you? Can you see Ladybird? Oh, it's next to something that goes, bees are buzzing, ba, ba, ba. Can you see her? There you are, up in the tree with the bluebird and the ba, ba, bee. Yoo-hoo, Ladybird, where are you? Ladybird, have you flown away? Is our game over for the rest of the day? Where are you, Ladybird? Can you see Ladybird? Oh, I can see her. She seems to be inside something yellow. Can you see her now? There you are, zooming around in your very own car. You were right. She was in the car. There she is, right there. Oh, that was such a wonderful book. Thank you for listening, friends. You can read You Who Ladybird at home. Do we talk about it was given as a gift? No? <coughs> You're right, Stace. Oh my gosh, it's this room. I'm just giving it some fresh air. Okay. We'll go from the part where it's in your very own car. Wow, that was such a great book. Thank you for listening, friends. I have a song about ladybirds now that I'd love to sing for you. Would you like to join in? I promise you've got the thing. I might start from the top. Can I? Nope, flip around. That one, yeah. Okay, I'll take it from the top of putting the book up. Um, I have a song about a ladybird. Would you like to hear it? Come along and sing with me. It goes just like this. I'm a little ladybug, pretty as can be. I am an insect that you can see. I am brightly coloured with spots of black. You can see them on my back. 
Did you like that song? Would you like to sing it again? All right, ready? On three. One, two, three. I'm a little ladybug, pretty as can be. I am an insect that you can see. I am brightly coloured with spots of black. You can see them on my back. Thank you, friends. That was such a wonderful song. Thank you for singing with me. Oh, I wonder what we have over here. It looks like we're going to be doing some cooking and making a ladybird cooking experience. Would you like to come over and see? Hi, Lauren. Hey, Thanks for joining me. I actually have a super fun experience for us. Sorry, I'm just finished washing my hands because we are going to do a cooking experience and it's always a good idea to make sure you wash your hands first just to make sure that there's no germs or anything. We're very lucky because I just wash my hands too. They are all nice and dry and I'm ready to cook with you. Perfect. Well, we are going to make some healthy snacks, but they're not just going to be any healthy snacks. They are going to be insect snacks. Mm. So first what we're going to do is we need each need a piece of celery. And what we've done is we've just already cut it into a nice size. And then we just need a spoon or a, or a butter knife. You might need an adult to help you at home, but we're just gonna get a little bit of hummus. You could use hummus or cream cheese, whatever you like. And we're just gonna spread it oh, right up the middle, just like that. Just like that? Just like that, perfect. And then, this isn't just celery and hummus. We are gonna put some ants on it. So I've got some celery where we can go boop. Oh, these look just like little ants. Oh, and then I'm gonna put brown ants. I'm gonna put three on mine. <gasps> and I have three ants marching along my celery snack. <gasps> I'm gonna have four. Oh wow! And that is a really easy snack that you can have at morning tea or afternoon tea. Oh wow, that looks delicious. Mm. I'm gonna take a bite. Oh, go ahead. Oh, it's so crunchy. Mm, that is delicious. <gasps> you will love it. Mm. Well, do you know what? I actually have another one for you too. And this is a really simple one too, using some vegetables and our hummus again. So I've already cut up some carrots into some circles. I've still got my sultanas and I've also got some cucumbers in circles and I think circle might be a theme. I've also got a rice cake. Do you know what we might be making, Lauren? Hmm. A lady beetle? I think you might be right. We're going to make a lady beetle. So, Lauren, do you want to grab a rice cake too? Sure. And then similar, we're going to grab some hummus. Oh, and we're gonna spread it all the way around. Oh, oh, oh. All the way around our rice cake. Oh, is this so that our vegetables can stick? That's right, Lauren. Oh, wow. We need to put something down so all our vegetables stick. And then I've got just a little bit of, of our celery cut up really thin. And I'm going to put one down the middle. And I'm going I just break this one and I'm going to put this one just like that. And can you see, I've now made the wings. And then you can choose whatever you like. So you might want to put oh, some cucumbers. I might choose some carrots. I might have orange spots in my Oh, here. I'm going to put an orange spot and another spot and another spot. And I'm going to put a sultana spot and then let me show you this is my spotty lady beetle snack but you could make it into whatever like if you didn't want to make a ladybug maybe you could make a face wow yeah or maybe you could put stripes and make it a bumblebee but this is a super yummy snack and i think i, I need to try mine too mm. Oh, very nice. Yum, that is delicious. So what a great, simple, healthy snack you could make at home with your family. And you could have fun with it, making it into 
maybe some ants going marching on your celery. Or some lady beetles, yeah. as we've been learning about them today. And I love that it's all healthy, Stacey, because healthy food makes our bodies grow big and strong. So make sure we eat lots and lots of healthy foods. That's right. And do you know what? I would love to see you try and make maybe some healthy snacks at home, whether it's a face or an insect like ours. And do you know what? I actually have some other really great recipes that you might like to try at home in our link below. So I look forward to seeing what you might cook up at home with your family. Thanks for joining us today. Bye. Bye.